Michelle Hoding got a text message on her phone the other day and immediately worried. The account has been locked due to um, suspicious activity. Her bank was locking her account. It was terrifying that my account was going to be locked. She almost clicked the link when another text arrived, this one from Wells Fargo. It also said her online banking had been locked due to unusual activity, but she didn't have a Wells Fargo account, which is when she got suspicious. I saw the link and the link did not make sense to me. Good thing it was a text message scam, sometimes called smishing. So how do these scammers know that you have an account with that particular bank? The FTC says they don't. They just send these texts randomly, knowing that if you have an account at that bank, you're going to pay attention. It detected uh, suspicious activity and that they were going to help me. Shortly before the pandemic, Damon Lander was hit, but he gave his account number. They changed my username, my password, changed my card pin. The FTC says if you get a suspicious text from your bank, don't click any links, do not call a phone number in the text, and never give your account number. I, I think people need to realize that they, they're very smart and they're getting smarter at doing it. Remember, if your bank claims there's some problem, call them at their main number, not the number listed in that text, so you don't waste your money.